Hey everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to look at some coding question on SQL based on our previous lecture that we have looked on to that is basic SQL. So we are going to look at some coding questions based on on SQL that includes where, select, from, having, order by. And here, before we move on, uh, I have suggestion how to approach this uh, question answers in SQL. So now let us look at how you could approach SQL question. So uh, my first tip is instead of solving 1000 SQL question, basically uh, I recommend you to solve like 100 SQL questions and these questions should be a variety question. So this will help you. Uh, why variety of question? Because this will help you give a control of okay, what type of question I can get, what type of question I can solve. So when you uh, go to the interview, basically you won't have to uh, uh, like you won't hesitate if any other questions come and it's why 100 because you could uh, because once you have solved 100 you practice the, those question again. So this thing is because uh, uh, there is like a saying that uh, if I have a tree like uh, I will uh, like take a lot of time to sharpen my time to uh, the axe instead of cutting the tree. So once you are very comfortable with this 100 SQL question, you could easily solve any other 1000 SQL question or any other question. So basically you try to solve these again questions again and again and then when you are comfortable at a time, then you move on and those questions would be very easy with you. So, that's the tip that I wanted to give you that you solve only a hundred question again and again this will uh, and that should be a variety of questions and this will help you to give uh, like have a control on your like when you go to the interview you will have uh, you won't stress out because you already have solved lot of variety of questions. Now let us look at some SQL question and I will give you some uh, ideas and how, uh, tips and tricks that how you could approach questions. So I will be taking a few questions from lead code uh, and some other websites because uh, that I uh, I've already curated some list that I think would be uh, good enough to uh, give you practice on lot of variety of questions. So uh, let's see how you could solve them. So uh, what you could do is basically uh, uh, there you need to create a lead code account uh, uh, basically and if you go to leadcode.com uh, you just need to sign in and I think you could sign in with your Google account and here is I am using I have already uh, created my account you could create here your account and why I am saying that because uh, uh, because when you go to the interview lot of people like previous day it was very mandatory now the lead code could have been uh, the significance have been reduced because people use nowadays use lot of um, chat GPT thing to solve those but uh, it still remain in the significance so I am just signing in I don't know why it's giving me some issues let me check with Google and when I am signed in uh, yeah here is my account and I will give you account how uh, lead code works and how you could solve so I usually solve when I have a DSO question I usually solve around 50 of questions and then I solved it again, 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 and then I got practice into those. And then I uh, was also able to uh, crack a lot of uh, 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 product based company. And one such thing was in my college, I was able to crack uh, uh, product based company Fire, which became the uh, fastest unicorn in India. And uh, because of going through this question again and again, so we are going to solve a SQL question and uh, I'm just giving you, giving you like uh, walk through how you could solve all other questions in this. So here you could go to the problem statement and here in this, if you go to the database, you have lot of uh, uh, lot of questions out there you could solve. And basically, uh, I'm going to give you list that will almost contains the uh, uh, lead code question that you could solve and once you are done with the 100 question or you want to experience your like how you could solve those you could solve these uh, questions so with this uh, it's very simple the navigation is simple you need to code it out now
now let us look at how you could solve the sql question so i will be stopping this video and then i will open the question and then we will try to solve it together so this is the first question that we are going to look at actors and directors who cooperated at least three times okay so we have given the table scheme that we have column name actor id director id and timestamp uh, and the type of uh, those data types are integers so timestamp is the primary key what you mean by primary key which could easily connect those two tables uh, write a solution to find all the actors id directors id where the doc actors has cooperated with the director at least three times so return the result in table any order the result for, uh, should be in the following order so here's we have actor id director id and the timestamp they have uh, uh, they have uh, cooperated so like if you see 110 timestamp uh, uh, they have zero uh, one time cooperated then they have cooperated one time here and we have we could see that uh, they have uh, also one time uh, cooperated here so they have been cooperated at least three times uh, so this is our solution <coughs> so i hope you don't have any doubt here basically we have actor id and director id i am also solving at it uh, looking at once i have not solved it previous time so i have got an idea so basically next thing what should in in my mind come is basically um, let me so here's my uh, right columns column uh, we have actor id we have um, then we have next column that is um, director id and then we have timestamp timestamp right so how we could solve this so basically what we could do is uh, we could group by this column we could uh, group by this order uh, by by uh, by actor id and director id and then what could we do is basically we could count okay uh, then we uh, what we are doing is basically grouping this two and we are taking the count and then we could uh, what we need to do is we need to check if it's greater than three so if you remember we are what we are doing is basically we are grouping actor id and director id and then we could check the count should be greater than 3 and we have the timestamp here so now let us look at how we could solve this so basically what we need to do is uh, our table uh, sorry our table is actor director table so we need to sele uh, select the uh, actor director table so <coughs> We will follow the camel casing select uh, actor id actor id okay so yeah. actor id let me zoom in this so yeah i am able to zoom in so select actor id and then what we need to select actor id director id and then we also need to have uh, <coughs> yeah that's all we need from our table select actor id director id why because we need to in the output you remember we need to show only these two tables so we are selecting those two and then which table we are selecting from we are selecting from this table actor director table so from actor director table and then once we are done we need to group uh, it by actor director group by actor actor id director id right and then we uh, are going to use aggregate function that is having by and if you know that uh, group by is always used by some uh, aggregate function so we are going to use having count and in which timestamp both of these timestamps should be greater equal to 3 and let us see if we run it on the test case 
let me zoom out and if I go to test one case test run uh, and test result you must run to submit your code so we just run our code let us see so yeah the first test rate is passed so let us look at the submit hopefully it should be passed and once you are submit yeah 19 like it's very good solution it beats almost all the all all other things so what we need to do is once you are done uh, i uh, like i always recommend you to what you could do is basically submit your solution but why because once you submit your solution other people will look onto your solution and you have something to show on to your code uh, like you could add title like um, after direct uh, like most common ways like you could add beats 99.9% <coughs> that's the common phrase like in lead code it's used if you need views uh, beats 99.9 solution and other people could look onto your solution and give you upward and this way you could once you are in like uh, like want to go to interview uh, at the end of the day you could show your, your profile like i have already submitted uh, these question and yeah here is also one thing uh, you could see i have also submitted questions and some people have starred my answers like here you could see and other people could also solve uh, look onto your profile see your solutions that have been submitted and you could see that okay uh, which is the code is must submitted and you could see right this question that i have done was able to beat uh, like 99 percent and it was upvoted by two people and uh, whether or not but it ha helped some people out there to uh, like your solution would reach out to other people as well so now let us to uh, take another question that we could solve so here we have solved this one uh, i will open the next question that we could solve and what i will do is i will copy this link so when you watch this video you could try to attempt this question by yourself uh, you uh, um, like you what you need to do is basically try to try to practice uh, the much you practice the more you will able to do it so i will copy this link and i will paste into the uh, i have notepad so i will open the notepad for myself okay so a uh, new location and then i will save this so when i um, um, so when I uh, post this video you will be able to solve all those questions so uh, this question we have done now let us look at two or three more questions and uh, you will have an gist okay how to solve those questions so this is the next question that we are going to solve that is article views so what we are going to look into this is basically <coughs> we have a table uh, the table name is views and in this table we have uh, about four columns article id author id viewer id and uh, viewer date the type of uh, the these articles are integers integers and uh, data type of uh, date so there is no primary key column with unique value so we don't have any primary keys that could connect two tables the table may have a duplicate rows each row of this table indicates that some viewer viewed an article on some date and uh, why I am taking this example because this is one of the real world scenario uh, case and we could see how we could solve this so note that equal author id and viewer id indicate the same person <coughs> write a solution to find all the authors that viewed at least one of their own articles return the table list sorted by uh, id in ascending order and what we need to do is basically the result format should be in the following order so write a solution to find all the authors that viewed at least one of their articles so the author id and the viewer id should be same and then it should be basically uh, it should be in uh, sorted by in id by ascending order so uh, if you look onto this author id uh, the, this line to find 
all the authors that viewed at least one of their own articles. So what it tells you is that we need to uh, get uh, we need to get at least one of their own articles. So we, they have been duplicates, and we don't need the duplicates. Uh, so this one says that why I'm saying that because here you could see that there are some duplicates as well. So if we do the count the duplicates, uh, this won't needed in the solution, and that's why uh, this question is little bit tricky off when you try to attempt. And other than this, I don't think uh, there would be any challenges into this. So let's look how you could solve this. So basically, uh, we have article ID, author ID, viewer ID, and view date. And uh, I think it's very much simple. So what we need to do is basically article ID and the uh, viewer date ID should be same. Why? Because in this statement, we need to find that the authors authors have seen at least one of their articles. So uh, we need to count that ID. So here in this, we could look that four seven author ID uh, like article ID. Uh, you could see that. So here you could see that in the author ID and in the viewer ID, we could see that this viewer have looked on to his article once, and this viewer have looked on to the uh, his article once. So, what we need to do is first we need to select the distinct. So, uh, you, this might be a new statement, but basically it's very simple. So, what we need to do is uh, we will use camel casing, select distinct, and which distinct we need to select from. Uh, so, we need to select it from author ID. So, we'll say author ID, author ID. Uh, so we have selected this from author ID uh, and what we need to do is well, we need to select it from which table from views right because this is the table we are selecting from and we could format it basically I like formatting so I will format it from views we have selected it and then what we need to do is we need to create a whereby clause so where and uh, where author ID author ID is equal to viewer ID right and then what we need to do is just order it by order by author ID let's run it So we have uh, some wrong scenario uh, and this is good right we could discuss okay what's the challenges here so you could see um, what's the challenge here the ID needs to be there and the output you could see that this is coming and this is the expected output so the answer is correct you just need to change the table name and how you could change a table name in uh, SQL is just used as ID instead of author ID and why because in the output statement we need to use ID so here we need to use ID so we will use ID and then we will run it and see the result so here we are SQL question passed and here we could look on to those so what we'll do is basically submit it and yeah it's okay and remember you could create a solution method I won't save it but I will copy this question so you could solve this uh, basically this is our second case question that we are going to solve and uh, fear not in the end of this course uh, what we are going to do is basically creating um, sheet for you guys to solve those 50 or 100 question that you need to solve it again and again until you get an a hold of this and then you could solve any other question and why because you know a story right there was if you need to cut a tree you need to sharpen like if you have 10 hours to cut a tree the most hour you need to sharpen is your axe right and then in the two hours you could do the most of the cut 
so that's the game that we are going to do it here so we have talked a lot of on uh, uh, other stuff like but now let's look on to the questions other questions now this is the last question that we are going to solve and uh, this is one of the famous question as you could look at that uh, number of, of quotes so it's a good question and it might be a tricky uh, I think for you guys because it includes some or statement uh, and I have already given out to you the bummer that how to solve this so uh, first you could try to attempt this one and let's then uh, we could uh, you could pause this video and then you could watch this uh, video when you are able to solve it so now you could try to attempt this it's already uh, one easy question and you don't need to worry about this uh, question so I already will send this link you could just look into the description and you could uh, able to solve this so now let us look at the question what it says so the question is big countries so we have a table world name is the primary key and it's a var car character column with unique values for this table continent we also have a var car we have area as integer population and integer and gdp as a big integer means like it could be like in billions or trillions so that's why it's a big integer the population should also be a big integer but i don't know they have set up this question so it's up to them so each row of this table gives information about the name of a country the continent to which it belongs its area population and its gdp value a country is big if it's an area or at least 3 million area or it has a population of about 25 million so here we need to look at okay basically you look at this okay we need to use our statement and this might you trick you down uh, okay, if we need to calculate the country and if it's a uh, big enough, the what we need to do is the big enough. It's basically it should be around a three a three k three hundred k kilometers and twenty two fifty k kilometers. I hope it's right. So uh, the unit system should be right. So what's the criteria for the big country? So to be a big country, right? In the question, to be a big country, you need to have at least area or population population uh, area about like uh, about I think 300k I hope it's right and a population about 250k this should be like uh, about it should be greater or equal to this or greater than equal to this so if you need to be a big country you need to be uh, this one so let me open the question so yeah it's here so uh, what we next is asked is that the we have input world table continent area population GDP and then we have a big country that we need to calculate so return the result in any order write a solution to find the name population and area of a big country so what we do we need to select name population and area from which table we need to select from the world table and uh, where the area is greater than 300k square meters and 250k uh, sorry or 250k million people so we got an idea okay how to write right so first we will use column capital casing so select select uh, what do we need to select name population and area we have to select from which from we need to select it from world this should be in small word from world and then what the condition is where uh, the area is should be around yeah once tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand 3 million like greater than 3 million a uh, data equal to 3 um, yeah. or population
Mm, now, uh, I think that's correct. And let's run our code. Hopefully, it should be correct. I don't think any edge cases we are missing. And yeah, it's correct. Let us submit our code. And when it's done, uh, what you need to do is because I already have done this and what you need to do is basically post your submission out you could paste the link into this uh, in the comment section that once you attempted it I will see it and appreciate and I will upload you for following along this part so what you need to do is uh, you need to attempt this three question again and once you are done you are ready to move on to the next part of this course that is where we are going to learn about advanced SQL